As one of the most passionately debated and investigated mediums of them all, gaming always has a sprung leak or two worth dissecting. An interview comment here, some accidentally posted artwork there. If you're anything of a seasoned gamer who knows their SSDs from their blast processing, you'll know the whiplash highs and lows of leaks, announcements, cancellations, and everything in between. It's what makes being a gamer so much fun, and as the ninth generation somewhat struggles to find its footing across 2021, at least we know there's a ton of tasty treats on the way. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com, and these are 8 unannounced PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X games you need to know about. Number 8. Ubisoft's Open World Star Wars Game the opening of 2021 saw Disney renege on their initial 10-year deal with EA over Star Wars game exclusivity. Initially set to end in 2023, Disney instead revived Lucasfilm Games to work on a new Indiana Jones, and set about greenlighting various cool-sounding Star Wars game ideas from a handful of studios. One of these, and you'd only know it was coming if you caught mention during a specific Wired report, is an open-world Ubisoft Star Wars title, made by The Division's massive entertainment team. Whether this means a cover shooter that can take the best parts from the legendarily cancelled Star Wars 1313 and bulk out the world map, who knows. What we do know is that it's being described as an original Star Wars adventure that is different from anything that has been done before, and that a release window is penciled in for post-2023, apparently to still respect EA's original 2013 deal. Number 7. Metal Gear Solid Remake Quickly becoming the worst kept secret in gaming, a Bluepoint developed Metal Gear Solid remake could be about to drop at Sony's also about to be announced state of play for July 2021. Word has now come from three reputable sources. The first was Moore's Law is Dead's podcast Broken Silicon, where host Tom described various features like a new game engine and overhauled Metal Gear Solid 5 style controls. Second was Solid Snake voice actor David Hayter noting in an interview with Dan Allen Gaming that an insider friend had told him a remake was in production. And lastly is XIGN Sacred Symbols host Colin Moriarty guesting on that same Broken Silicon podcast. Here Moriarty further confirmed he's heard the same information as Tom when the conversation came back around to a Metal Gear Solid remake from Bluepoint. Lastly, speaking of Bluepoint, it's worth noting that Sony Japan's Twitter accidentally posted a studio acquisition graphic, alongside the announcement of Sony acquiring Returnal Dev's housemark. The post was quickly deleted, but with a state of play showcase right around the corner, everything's lining up for a Metal Gear Solid reveal, accompanied by mention of Bluepoint themselves joining Sony first party. Number 6. Assassin's Creed Soft Reboot now, before I delve into what else is out there, Ubisoft were forced to acknowledge the existence of what is now referred to as Assassin's Creed Infinity, after a Bloomberg report leaked it was in development. This came after writer Jason Schreier noted in a podcast that 2022's Assassin's Creed from Ubisoft Sophia has actually been cancelled as a standalone title with a new name, instead being folded into a sizable expansion for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The reason is down to Ubisoft wanting to create a notable departure from what Assassin's Creed is right now, and make something even bigger, tying into a detailed leak from March that mentioned how a future Assassin's Creed could feature seven environments in total from around Europe, apparently taking place across a Greek island, an Italian city named Ragusa, and various other areas, the leak noted a late 1100 setting and the return of Altair as a character. Folding in new information then, all this does line up with Ubisoft confirming the next next Assassin's Creed is a live service game, one said to feature multiple stories, locations, and content plugged in and monetized over time. Regardless of what happens, we do know that Layla Hassan's story is all but complete. Valhalla had her body slowly dying in the real world while her consciousness met up with Desmond in his new form as the Reader, a character searching for an optimum timeline that lets all of humanity survive a global apocalypse. With both main characters of the last 14 years in one place and an infinite live service of Assassin's Creed games to come, it's over to you down in the comments as to how it all comes together. Number 5. Time Splitters Far too long have we gone without a Time Splitters title, without what the likes of Rare and later Free Radical brought to the first person shooter genre. Because for as much as Call of Duty and Halo have identifying gameplay feels, the former's double trigger, left trigger aim, right trigger shoot setup has dominated everything since Modern Warfare in 2007. All of which is to say that although we don't know what form the next Time Splitters will take, and whether the next full game will be preceded by an HD collection, there is a new Time Splitters in production. Word comes from the creators themselves, Steve Ellis and David Doak, who after joining Embracer Group in 2019, stated alongside that they have a plan for the next Time Splitters, and that it was incredible. Development was getting underway before the close of 2020, meaning that whatever that plan was, it's now in motion. Number 4. Bloober Team Silent Hill what a rocky, all-over-the-place trajectory the next Silent Hill has had. 
At one point, a soft reboot handed over to Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro called Silent Hills. The next, that was cancelled and left on the cutting room floor. Now, thanks to Video Games Chronicle confirming months worth of rumours, we know at least one Silent Hill project is coming from Blair Witch, the medium and layers of fear developers Bloober team. As for the second, it's been given to a prominent Japanese development team. But Bloober's leaked involvement ties in with rumours from the start of the year that they've had a Silent Hill game in development for quite some time. Another interesting tidbit was Silent Hill composer Akira Yamaoka talking about what he was working on during an interview on AI Hub, noting it was the one you're hoping to hear about, only for the interview to then get deleted as he had to retract everything. The guns have been smoking for a while, and they all point to a reveal at some point this summer. Number 3. Hideo Kojima's Cloud-Based Horror Project on Xbox with word that Hideo Kojima has signed a letter of intent to work with Xbox on a key exclusive going forward, it lines up with a nascent project he was apparently trying to get off the ground on Google Stadia. Said project would be something cloud-based, to which Microsoft actively hired former Google Stadia and Left 4 Dead developer Kim Swift to help Kojima bring his vision together. In terms of specifics, the only indication of what Kojima was working on came from a VGC report on an in-progress episodic horror game for Stadia. Kojima literally said he was peed off when all his work went sideways as the service fell apart, referring to the project as something revolutionary and major. Joining the dots and factoring in Microsoft's comments about targeting Japanese developers and the Japanese market going forward, securing Kojima and letting him release his ambitious horror idea across Xbox Game Pass streaming platforms would be the perfect solution. Either way, besides some DLC being added to Death Stranding as a director's cut, it seems Hideo Kojima is pushing for new IP as much as possible going forward. Number 2. The Next Witcher it's actually staggering when you start to say the words CD Projekt Red how different they feel after Cyberpunk 2077. While one disastrously handled rollout of a game isn't enough to wipe out the hundreds of hours of quality I've gotten from the Witcher series overall, it stands to reason that CDPR's entire upcoming schedule is notably delayed. What was once comments on having another AAA game by 2021 turned into Cyberpunk's multiplayer standalone which has been cancelled. Whether the Cyberpunk IP is something CDPR want anywhere near them after the game is finally fixed is something for the future. But as for what's actually been said, CEO Adam Kaczynski noted that the team would focus on a tag team-like structure of Cyberpunk and The Witcher. In terms of the next Witcher game then, Kaczynski told Polish side Bankia that The Witcher is one of two franchises on which to build the future activities of the company, stating the first three Witchers were by definition a trilogy, so we could not name the next game The Witcher 4, but this does not mean of course that we will leave the world of The Witcher. Senior writer Jakub Shamalek stated in 2015 that Geralt's story had an appropriate finale with Wild Hunt, leaving things wide open for a new character or maybe a side story with someone like Ciri. And number one, Matter, Bungie's next game. Matter, 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 just what are you? A trademark filed back when Bungie was still with Activision, the only details surrounding Matter were the categories its patent belonged to, computer game software and online entertainment services. Now, as mentioned, this was before Bungie managed to escape the money siphoning clutches of Activision in 2019, emerging independent as a free agent whilst retaining the Destiny IP. Destiny itself has only seen an uptick in quality expansions and content since, but as that game was initially set to be a 10-year plan of sequels and spin-offs inked in 2010, the beloved veteran team certainly have something cooking that they're likely itching to show off. Let me know down in the comments what you think Bungie's next game could possibly be, whether it's a first-person shooter or something different entirely. For now, I've been Scott from WhatCulture.com. Please also check out the WhatCulture Gaming podcast, and I'll catch you soon.